welcome back to Nina's House of Spice. I know it's been a while since I've cooked last or at least uploaded a video. So today I'm gonna make some salmon. Um, I'm gonna make some um, lemon buttery um, salmon. I'm going to be adding some spinach to it. I didn't have shallots, so I'm using uh, just a regular yellow onion, chopped really small. A couple of medium-sized lemons. I'm using, you don't have to use as much garlic as I do, but I'm using a whole head of garlic. I'm gonna be adding some sun-dried tomatoes that I chopped, I just buy it from the store like this, and I just um, slice it. If you can see it, yeah, I just slice it like this. And also I'm gonna be adding some baby spinach, okay? And uh, also some uh, whipped cream, I'm gonna be, uh, whipping cream, I'm gonna be using about a cup of whipping cream. Um, a cup of uh, Pinot Grigio, salt and pepper to taste, also some capers. Now with the capers, just be careful if you're gonna um, so, uh, you know, add salt, make sure you rinse these before you add it to the dish, okay? I'm using the Greek Gourmet um, capers. Alrighty, so let's get started. I've already uh, seasoned these with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to add some olive oil and I'll be putting it in this pan in just a minute. Okay guys, so here we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. The, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, sear the salmon, okay? Um, Temperature should be on medium. Okay guys, so here we go. We're going to sear the salmon first. I'm going to do skin side down. There we go. Turn the temperature to medium, you don't want it too hot. So you want to do about uh, three minutes on each side, okay? There we go. And then after about three minutes, we're going to flip them all over to the other side, okay? Um, the skin, I like to leave it on. I like the skin. Um, if you don't like the skin, you can always take the skin off before um, uh, cooking it, okay? Okay, again, so it's been three minutes. I'm going to start flipping it over. Okay, guys, so I cook this three minutes on each side. Look at how beautiful this looks. We're going to set this aside now. What I'm going to do is, in the same pan, um, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Temperatures on medium. We're going to add the onions. Normally I would have shallots. I don't have shallots so this will do for now. I forgot to get the shallots. for a little bit. As that's cooking, I'm going to try to rinse my garlic. Okay, so now we're going to add the garlic. Tablespoon of butter. 
maybe a little over a tablespoon. Okay. You want this sauce to be nice and buttery. We'll be adding a little more butter later. Not right now though. This is good for now. Okay, we are now going to add a little bit of a cup of Pinot Noir or Pinot Grigio. I love citrusy salt. Normally people add like one, I like to add two. There we go. I know that this may be too much for some people, but I like it this way. One more. There we go. some dried tomatoes. I'll be adding the um, spinach a little later on. Other papers. I'm just using them. Um, it was already open. I'm using. I'm not using the green one. I'm using. Uh, this was imported from. Where is this one imported from? I don't know. Oh, it's from Napa Valley. Okay. This is Napa Valley. It's not imported. I don't know why. It's, uh, I'm not sure why it says imported. Okay. and lemon. Okay. Now at this point I'm going to add also some uh, whipping cream. Okay. Let me see if I can open this first. Okay. 
Okay, so at this point I'm going to add about a cup of, maybe a little over a cup of whipping cream. You want to simmer. And then what I normally do is I go ahead and um, add the, um, the salmon back in. Most people, they just pour it over. I like to add it. I mean, uh, put this back in the pot. Okay. Now this you could have with um, pasta if you want or I'm going to be making some uh, mashed potato with this. You could do it over rice or just veggies, or you could do cauliflower rice if you're like one of those uh, keto people. Um, so there are different ways of doing this. Um, and some people, you know, with the capers, like they chop it up smaller and add it on. I just throw it in there. Anything to make life easier okay i'm going to add a little bit more butter there we go This sauce to be nice and buttery, lemony, <clears throat> nice citrusy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add some spinach now. Okay. I mean, these are optional. You don't have to add spinach and all this stuff if you don't want. You can add tomatoes, you really don't even have to add any of that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let this cook uh, with the sauce for just a couple of minutes. Whoops. long you don't want to overcook it either you know okay I am now going to add the salmon back in Try to get some of that sauce on on the salmon as well. Okay, so you want to just let this simmer for about three four minutes, and it should be done. That's it. Got the capers, the sun dried tomatoes, the spinach, onions, garlic, of course. Yeah, I have to have my garlic. That's it. Pretty simple. It only takes a couple minutes to make. More pepper. There we go. Okay, and this is just about done now. Okay, guys, I just made this salmon with the capers and everything, sun dried tomatoes. If you guys want the recipe, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, Nina's House of Spice. So yummy, and I made some mashed